but I'll keep an eye for her. All right. Well, then I'll call the meeting to order. Hold, so that we hold can... it. Hold it. Not oh, yet. Sorry. You'll hear an echo for a second, and then I will eliminate the echo, and then I'll give you the go sign. Okay. Well, I'll keep an eye for her. All right. Well, then I'll call the meeting to order. Hold it. Hold it. Not yet. Okay, if everyone can just watch for Mary to show up here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. June, you're good to go. All right. Um, we'll call the meeting to order, and I just want to make one announcement before we go on with it. And that you see it on here. There's not going to be a, a Preservation Buffalo Niagara workshop today. I talked to Christiana, and we have postponed it to June. 18th. There were two dates in there, but our meeting was being changed because of the Historical Society uh, garage sale. So <laughs> she was only available our normal weekend. So we decided to go with June 18th. So if you would mark your calendars for that, I'd appreciate it. So on that day, we would be meeting here at 1230 so that we can then go on um, and do the Zoom meeting with her from one to three. June 18th? Yes. Is that problem? Yes. It's not very far off. Your daughter's getting married the 19th. I don't think well, you want to be here. The, the, the rehearsal dinner is then, is no. that day. So, a rehearsal lunch. So, I won't be here. But we'll, we'll take be thinking of you. <laughs> you can watch them. We will have it recorded, correct, Mike? Absolutely. Okay. So, okay. We'll, you'll be able to watch it after the thing is over. There she Hello. is. That's why we're not finding her. Yes, I decided to. Okay. Okay. So the next thing on the agenda then is the approval of the minutes. That's Thank you. Thank you. I hear a motion to do that. Yes. Any corrections, additions? I have one thing under Sharon. It says. Um, the list of the original 1977 homes, what does that mean? I'm looking for my minutes to tell you the truth. Uh, 1977 homes? Yeah, it's under uh, Sharon. Kind of almost at the bottom. Is it the Fairy Village homes yeah. from yeah. maybe well, your... 1977. Is that from when you used to do... I think, was the it the, the original... Um, proposal, walking, yeah, walking tour. Um, no, the, yeah, you were coming. Up, we were coming up at the list. I think of the places that you did on the tour. Oh, I don't know. And I think it was based on whatever the um, whatever they called it, the original long range plan for Fairy Village. Oh, that may have been. I think that's what that was. Oh, that's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Any other additions or corrections? No. If not, I think Jody made the motion to accept. Is that correct, Jody? Yes. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nobody. Okay, good. Okay, Mike, um, did, Joe put this on the, the uh, agenda for both of us, this town board change. I think the only thing we wanted to know really is, was it section A, did, he, did we add a another line in section A or was there a new section D? Because those were the two options for Peter. It was the first option if I remember co correctly, but um, I can send out, I'm sorry, I didn't check into that. Okay, that, I, that's fine. I just want, I thought, I don't have it in my records and yeah. I couldn't hear it. I was trying to listen <laughs> to the town board and for some reason I just couldn't hear it well enough on Zoom. So I didn't know which one it turned out to be. So, okay. Um, <laughs> And the timesheets? Um, we are working on that. And Jennifer is actually helping to lead that effort from for a different, um, for other committees as well. So that is being worked on. Okay. Because I, I actually think it's on the <clears throat> next agenda for, I haven't looked at our workshop agenda, but it might okay. be on there. But it I, is being worked on. I I'm did not get sure a copy of what they were using for this one. So I have it if anybody needs it. But Sounds Rhonda good. gave me that one. So. Okay. okay. Thank you. And the other two that Joe had on here, I think um, while everybody's interested in them, basically what we need to know is, is there anything about either of these issues that pertains to what we have to do as a board? As far as, sorry. The solar project or the long road warehouse project. So it's only if you want input into it, 
Um, the solar project, there's a committee that's going on. I mean, we do have one more community meeting. It'll be May 6th. If anyone from this would like to participate, I could send the invite to you. It's up to you. Would I find out whether or not to sign up for solar? Nope, not in that <laughs> meeting. This is about amending the law. The preservation, June. Come on. Yes. <laughs> is, wouldn't it be, does the, this board have a map? Like a, I'm just hearkening back to the Conservation Commission days when it was like areas identified, not publicly, but, what, and it's, diff, you know, it's a little different now, but um, it was just a map that, you know, if something came about in this, this, or this based on econo or ecological attributes of the property, then that would be important for the Conservation Commission to be involved in it. Seem, you know, and I remember when that first, when Amazon was in the, yes. um, in the uh, docket, didn't you and Shirley and Sharon go look, looking for long farm stuff right. and just different things around there. So it would seem like if we had, you know, there's this burial thing or whatever, these various things that come up, if they can be identified on the map, it certainly would direct this group a little more um, efficiently in terms of, all right, this is where the project is proposed. Oh, well, there's nothing there that we know about. So I mean, we forward. could we could add um, that item on for May 6th to discuss that. Yeah, I would okay. think that would make sense because there's that, we used to call it the circle and squares map. You know, that that's the um, archaeological map that they use for the whole town that uh -huh. somebody identified way before I came on the scene. And that used to be the go-to for archaeological. Like, oh, you know, go look at that. It was in the engineer's office. And if yeah. there was something... If you're the parcel that was being considered fell into that, ooh, automatically you're going to be doing an archaeological dig or whatever the level was that was indicated on this map that had been prepared by. I don't even know who, but I just remember that was a step. So it seems like at some point this crew might want to figure out things that are important or you know things that you know, for yeah. example, like the tree in front of Sidway appears to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. So you know that we don't. Really a lot of jurisdiction over that, but if someone decided they wanted to um, widen the road and that was going to be cut down, you know, how big of a deal is that? You know, that type of thing. So it can be living things. It can be the fact that the place was important for something, mm -hmm. whatever. So, so it's kind of like a long-term well, thing, but it seems like yeah. And I think that's what we need to May concentrate 6th. on as opposed to just, you know, Treating you like the news guy on on this committee, right? right you like know, what's new about? I think right, you know. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to hear what's going on in town, but I think in particular we need to hear what's going on in yes. town that we need to know about as a preservation right. board. So that's why I worded it that way. Would we be able to recruit someone that could come and just represent that interest at the May sixth meeting at six thirty p.m.? May sixth. I think it's a Tuesday, Tuesday May sixth, if I remember correctly. I think that's before sailing season starts. So I'm on a boat every Tuesday night. I just... Pretty close. <laughs> so am I. I'm on Wednesdays, though. So. I don't think that starts yet, though. I think it's the week after. It's probably mid May. Right. Yeah. Does anybody else want to go? If not, I'll put my name on it. Okay. Could you look into that archaeological map idea? I mean, is that something we have access to as well? I would, well, it used to be in the engineer's office. Okay. If, if you just ask Bob Westfall something about the circle and squares, man, I mean, I might be dating myself so bad it's pathetic, <laughs> but <laughs> it seems like he should, or John I've Whitney certainly would know. John Whitney oh, that's would, right. would absolutely know about it because he was under John Phillips, and that was always, you know, that was what you did. Where does it, you know, I'll the I'll planning ask. board would refer to that, you know, because the planning board is usually the first official board that's getting uh -huh. anything. But even when they would come into the engineering office for a chat, you know, someone would think that out. Oh, well, I'll pay you far away from it. Yeah, even or if we had not. something like that and we had, just for the preservation board, if we had a copy of that map and we colored in the places that yeah, the we things would that are significant. About, Do you really, that would be is helpful. Is there anything that you can, even comes to your mind right now that is on there? Oh, for the archaeological, that yeah. was done by somebody else, and it just mattered if you were going to disturb so much land, you had mm -hmm. to do an archaeological dig. This was all underground, no idea. But when they, I'm trying to think of some of the things that they had to do digs for, 
some of the Weaver developments, I'm thinking, I, but I mean, if you, somebody came up with this, don't know who, they identified places on the island, I guess, based on archeological studies or where the Native American camps were or some mm -hmm. such thing. And if your property that you were going to develop was going to be disturbing the mm -hmm. ground, then, and, and then that leads to how much of the solar is going to do that. You know, Matt, if you're putting in poles, <clears throat> Maybe you don't, I don't know what the rules are. Maybe you don't have to, but like that new trail that got put in Assumption Cemetery land, that's all up on pedestals because you can't be disturbing conservation or you can't be disturbing the ground in there because it's habitats or stuff. Something. Right, but you can put poles in and then you can run your trail at the top of the poles and you're okay as opposed to, you know, bulldozing and, yeah. bulldozing and disturbing all the stuff. So I haven't a clue as to the solar um I don't either, and that's why I... Like how much it disturbs, and, but maybe yeah. that, June, is just all you have to say is if it's going to affect something, you know. But again, critical would be some idea about what the Historic Preservation Advisory Board is trying to preserve. Yeah, it'd be good to look if I we can get that Kevin map Cabal before. If, if he has it and if he can send it to the two of us. Okay, oh, that's okay, that would be good. I think the same thing would be true then for this long road project, you know. I mean, that's uh -huh. what, that would be our concern was... Is okay. there anything there we need to be aware of right. or whatever? Because otherwise we could we can respond as individual citizens, but it's not something that the preservation board necessarily has to do. Even though I'm jumping ahead since it's on the agenda. Mm -hmm. So two things. One is the solar moratorium. We just held our second meeting last night. Really good output. I, I think great community input plus developers and landowners for solar and neighbors are in the in it. And if you think about it, that could be a fairly um, challenging exchange to have all the different sides of the um, equation in one meeting, but it's been very constructive. The developers are giving us great information, the neighbors, the landowners, and the community. So we have what I consider, I think we're going to end up with one of the best laws probably in the state. Nice. Um, so so some fairly Absolutely. significant um, um, input. And We've basically almost solidified on the major concerns. This could be a new one that we might add to it. Uh -huh. And right now we're on track. The moratorium ends on the 18th of July and Monday night, that's a Sunday. Monday night is the 19th and that's probably when the, the new law will go into effect. So we'll miss the moratorium de deadline by one day. Yeah, we don't so we're yeah, doing pretty good there, thing, right? Yeah. Good job. So it's going pretty well. Yeah. And then for the long road, we declared at the last meeting, um, lead agency that has a waiting period before any further action can be done by the town of 30 days. Um, so whatever the 30 days is from the first Monday of this month, it's, it's approximately the first Monday of next month. And that's when a decision will be made whether or not to declare a uh, you know what 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 the next action is going to be whether it's a considered significant or not significant um etc so so that's where we're at with that okay thank you so that would be whether or not to declare a positive declaration on that or a negative deck declaration for a seeker for environmental impact okay. and as you can well imagine it's a pretty significant um, project. So one, one of the biggest building wise that's ever been considered on the island other than what was previously or there, which was probably equivalent, what was previously being considered with Amazon. So Mike, you'll make that decision in the first meeting of June or you'll That's then be the open soonest we're able to, to make that decision. Okay. Will we make it uh, we to be determined? Okay. There is, there is a short period in which we need to make the decision for the developer. The same developer that was going to develop Amazon is still the- It's the same property owner. Same property owner. Right. Aquest is the is, okay. is the owning owner of the property, yes. Okay. But who knows who's considering this warehouse? Okay. Um, that's not been revealed. Hmm. Okay, anything else, Mike? That's the main item, those are some big ones. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, 
I just want to report, of course, you know, but I'm sure by now, but <laughs> given this conversation, but the town board did approve the change of wording to the town ordinance so that the wording about the Secretary of the Interior standards has been included now in the town law. Um, so I, the, um, I'm going to skip to the third thing under my name there then. So the application of these standards is one of the things we probably need to look at after we just redid all those forms and printed them. <laughs> we need to um, probably figure out how we're going to include the 10 standards that we're going to and figure out which one is going to or which ones. What's one more apply. page in the form? You know, I know it's, it's going on and on and on, on as we keep adding more information, but I thought <laughs> We need to think about that. Now that we've got it in the law, we're gonna to have to sit down and figure out where we're gonna put that and how we'll do it. So maybe you and I can sit down and have sure. a little subcommittee meeting or something and take care of that. Um, on the Ferry Village activity, um, I don't know, Sharon might, might wanna join in on this conversation. Um, as a result of the, the workshops that we've done and this change to the standards um, in the law, I think our next move will be to, I made an appointment with Christiana to talk to her about this because I think now we are able to name Ferry Village and Historic District without the people who live there, living there actually having to agree because it won't change anything really. It will just be something we have done to name it for the town. And then we would use that as kind of a publicity thing to try to get individual homeowners within there to agree that they might want their property considered as an individual property. But I think if we can start with that, that the town would start thinking about it that way and then we could move on from there. I don't think this is gonna be a fast project. I think we're, we have a lot of PR work to do in order to get this done. But um, we could, like the boathouse, over on the West mm -hmm. River, we could get it on the national register so that it would be at least recognized nationally as a, as a historic district. So I think that's the next move that we should be going for. So Sharon and I will continue to make a list of houses. If the weather ever breaks and gets nice again, Sharon yeah. and I are going to go on a walking tour <laughs> around Ferry Village. I'm going to so, go too. So let me eat yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, anybody walk. could go, Sharon but Sharon and I in particular sure. want to walk around. So we'll let you know when we're going to do it. And anybody that can join us, we'd love to have you. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else that I have to tell you. I was, oh, um, on this long range planning committee thing, I did get a copy of the original long range plan, the master plan that was being considered for Ferry Village. So I was able to get that. And I have it in my pile of notes now. So when we meet as a subcommittee, we could look at that and see how much of that we still would want to support and if there are changes we want to make to that. So I thought we'd get it started and then we could bring it back to the whole committee after we have some <coughs> recommendations to make about that. Okay, Jody. Uh, plaques, still got them. They're on my desk at the office. Um, I know Mike is probably back Mike Jensen, so we could probably. Oh, he isn't? No, this is late. It left late. Okay. Well, I'm sure he would be agreeable to at least pose with the plaque, um, take a picture, and we can write up. I have lots of information about his homestead and mm -hmm. lots, but enough to come up with an article. And, and, um, the other ones we've got the we've got the school number five and the cupola, and um, we also have one that I believe I can't remember for sure, but I think it's 1932. That was for that um, the CCC building. Mm. Uh, oh, which is now torn down. Right, but supposedly there might be one of those on Nicole's property. There's right. also one on Maureen Phillips's property. No, they no, took it down. The they oh, took it down. Gone. Yeah. It's gone. Really? She, yeah. She donated it to oh, a young so couple. Took it. So it's not like he took it apart. One of them is an architect and they took it apart. Yeah, they took it apart and incorporate they're not on the incorporate island. parts of it into a new home they're building, I guess, huh. or something. So. But Jody, what is the plaque? It's just circa. It's just circa. Yeah. 
So chances are we'll be able to use it again. Sure, sure. Yeah. Because aren't there supposed to be some at the corner, like that greenish black one on the corner of West River and is it Staley? Oh, they decide that at some point there was some thought that this was during the Homer and Phillips discussion. Hmm. They well, thought anyway, that, that could possibly be from yeah, there. Yeah, and then we we're looking at the window or yeah. you know, orientations and all that. Right. Stuff. But well, if it only says circa 1932, something will turn up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the other thing is this uh, Western New York Heritage page. Oh, so yes. I sent this to June. This is what she did to it. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, you you know. don't even incorporate all that. No. I was is just that a putting C my thoughts in a there. B minus. What do I, see on that? I think it's an F. Uh -oh. I think it's an A plus plus. You just find <laughs> no, the first page. <laughs> the first page is the answers to the question that I had to fill out. Now, and the problem here is, is this can only be 500 words. So this is where we got into how, what's on there, which I'm fine with all this. And this is, I actually did go online and found out that Hamlets, our Grand Isle village, Ferry village in Sandy Beach, they're actually listed as Hamlets. So I added them. Okay, okay cool. Um, well, let's start with that one. Uh, the year founded, the first settlers were in 1817, but it was incorporated in 1852. Not sure. For which one? The, the first the first line of this, this line of, these are questions that they oh. ask. Where did the first settlers from 1817, is that just something that's that online? Was, I, I just don't. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's great. that's just, Pendleton Clark. Okay, I'm just curious. Yeah, that okay. was, uh, first settlers were squatters, among them Pendleton Clark. That's what I have okay. in, in the cool. other. Um, so I'm not sure, do we, do we just do incorporated 1852 and not mention anything ahead of time? Or because Lewis F. Allen bought 16,000 acres in 1833. So at least we know the 52 is a starting point. Well, that's the for the corporation. Yeah, the, the, the others kind of. But that, I mean, does that, do you think people would then say, oh, people didn't even live there until then when actually there was. So if you say you were incorporated then. I don't, hey, I'll do whatever you guys. Well, I'm just thinking maybe first settlers might be the wrong thing to say because people were around. Indians or something. Cool. You know, they were people. So. But that would, if we did that 1852, that would leave out a lot of the uh, history. A whole bunch of well, the history is in here, is gone. but that's why yeah. I'm wondering if they would question it because most of the history, the interesting history was 1817 right. to the 50s. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, but if you said incorporated them, they know something happened beforehand. I don't, like I said, I just throwing it out there. When they say, I wonder, did you have that example? Of the, the example of Yates. Oh, Rochester and we don't know. I laughed when I saw what? Yates and they put I the shoe tree. If did you're you gonna say, that? I heard Yates, Yates is 1822, <laughs> formed in 1822. If you're gonna say 1817, I would just say the first non-native settlers history suggestions. We don't want to say settlers either. I no, think we, we want to say Towns Incorporated. Maybe because it says founded. Okay. Incorporated. It's and fine. I mean, it, you know, obviously a, a lot went on before. But okay. You know, in a line that I, I don't, I mean, I know you're down to 500 words and that's all you can do, but what occurred to me that I didn't include in there is that I think the most interesting thing about their early history is that nobody knew whether it was going to be part of the U.S. or, or part, part of Canada. Canada. Absolutely. And I think if we could get that in there somehow is the early history, because it was only after that that New York State bought it from the Seneca Indians or whatever, because it wasn't no, until New York State was actually named the owner of the property. When it, it had okay. to come after they decided whether it was U.S. or Canadian. Mm -hmm. Okay, so add the Treaty of Ghent. Yes, is what that. <laughs> yes, G -E and maybe that H E N T. H -E -N -T. Uh, yeah, right. So that means something else is going to have to go. Right, but you've got, but you've got this. Is this limited to the five hundred words? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so that's what's got to go if we put Treaty of Ghent. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a. Yeah, there's a, 
Um, well, let's get back to this All right, one yeah, through six, because let's get stuff. finish that. So 25 words max. Town is known for, we went over this at the Historical Society meeting the other day. Um, 26 miles of Niagara River waterfront, Buckhorn, Big Six, and Beaver Island State Parks, the Glapper Park Memorial, Riverly Historical Music Museum, and it's actually over 16 miles of multi-use trails. Right, get rid of park because we can't call it the Golfer Park. It's the Glopper Memorial. Mm -hmm. The word park is not a good okay. Idea. So that gives you a word. Yeah. Yep. And is that what you want on there? I mean, we discussed these things, like I said, at the other meeting. And I'm assuming of and and don't count. <laughs> so you're praying. Oh, it it count. Count. What about hyphenated words? Is that a one or a two? Does your computer count for you? Is that how you're keeping yeah. track? Yeah. Okay. Well, that on the 500, the other ones I was just. Yeah. Are we just sticking with that or are we moving? No, on? you can. I'm just wondering if you want. You need no, to add anything or yeah, looks good. Did, we, did I miss anything or? Buckhorn Big Six and Beaver Island State Parks. Is that, everyone will get the idea that those are the three state parks, I hope. Or do we write three state parks, colon, Buckhorn Big Six, Beaver Island? Something sounds, so where did the questions come from? Is that their question? Their yeah, question yeah. Western, Western New York, York heritage. heritage. Big thing for the bicentennial of the, of the town. This the, was the, the original. That's what the. This is the magazine, right? Yes. Western New York heritage. They do, they're running. Yeah. Either, they're going to yeah. run a special like edition or one of their years of that. things. So I would I would go back to the because they have the slash sites slash attributes. Because I don't know if that's worded right. Three ma three present major sites attributes. I put a slash and just say sites slash attributes. This, I think. I'm not sure if sites attributes. Well, it doesn't really this matter. This is them. They only give you 25 words. This is them. You know, like okay. they're saying three attributes. Um. Yeah, there's a slash in it. But I'm not missing anything anything else in the known for. I mean, I can change that around to three state parks, blah, blah, blah. Right. Well, we were just trying to figure out the things when we did it at the historical study. What, right. what do you want people to know? And Jody was reading us the thing from Gates. Like they had a tree or they had a whatever it was, some settler, I don't know, something. Cobblestone houses. House, we right. don't have those. We don't right. have anything that's... Like we that. have original farmhouses, though, on the island, which some people might appreciate seeing. But I mean, I know you can't list everything, but that would be right. And we really don't have a way for them to find them. But at least here they can go find the three state parks, you know, mm -hmm. explore the waterfront and have trip. We were trying to think of things that would want, encourage you to come. Wasn't that what you, like, why would you want to go to Grand Mountain? Okay, let's move on to the two important people in town's history. What is Little Beaver Island? Is there a big Beaver Island? Yeah. That's the yeah. little one you go over the bridge and you're on it. But where is Big Beaver Island? There is. Park. That's Beaver Island, the little one. Because there's only because one the Beaver Island. Because the rest of the park is actually on Grand Island, not on Beaver Island. Okay, so get rid of little word. Little? Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to, you, you can use another word. And everybody knows he was president. It's not like we have to get into that. Right. I, mean, I know the right. sheriff is, you know, you don't have to get. Oh, well, yeah, they, right. You can go Google that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually, it's it's 800 acres, not 500. There was one one thing that said 500 and 800 okay, so for I, Allenton. Oh, okay. Now, and I can't, I, I, I don't have my Allenton Farms book in hand. with me, but I'm going to check on that next week and find out what, you know, when he exactly did his, uh, oh, develop his the farm. Because originally he was in Buffalo, so 
Yeah, but he when was. He physically but move? he was here. I mean, eighteen thirty-three is when yeah, he, he was part of the crew. That he was part the of the sixteen thousand acres, and yeah. then, and then they, they, was, and well, they chopped. Set. They chopped down all the trees, and then he took the southern tip when they split it all up. After I think he took it before. before. Yeah, so. he took it like when they, the four investors, they bought it. He grabbed, he, his, he grabbed his 800 okay. acres. Is that chunk. in is that in that Riverly and Allenton Farms book? Well, where I've been reading is that Barry Burnett dissertation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have, I which, might be able to look up something. Okay, so, so in the fourth that. paragraph down, um, just to be consistent, and it's the right way to do it, is sawmill is one word, not two words. Okay. Great, another word. <laughs> and actually, in the same paragraph, you have it both ways. Did you not catch that? I did not. Oh. <laughs> that just shows you how proofreading is yeah. such an art. So back to Lewis F. Allen. Mm -hmm. That's a good, I think you there, described I said your that word well. Too. Well, I got 28. Do we say something about the Whitehaven settlement? One of the four original. That is, or is that some more? That's in the, that's in the, in the paragraph. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But it doesn't mention Whitehaven. Do you think we need the name in there somehow? Well, just because one of four original investors in sixteen thousand acres in eighteen thirty-three means something to us, but. But then you come over here and it says the same um, purchased in eighteen thirty sixteen thousand acres was purchased in eighteen thirty-three. These are going right next to each other. Right. But do we just say, since you say East Boston Company, one of the four original investors, original member of the East Boston Company, or? Can't add any more words. No, no, but I'm taking that out. It, yeah, getting rid of one of four original investors. In so you don't need that at all. Well, I, I'm thinking it might be more meaningful to say um, part of the East Boston Company, because then you can go read what the East mm -hmm. Boston Company is and you're not it's more meaningful than one of four original investors in 16,000 acres. Because we don't say four people in this paragraph, we say East Boston Company. Mm -hmm. So in that one where the uh, the first roads, it's the third from the bottom paragraph. Wait, you can't go switching back and forth, Michael. We've got to do what the, we're doing them. Oh, are you on the sheet. other one? You can't jump sheet. You can you jump paragraph. <laughs> Whitehaven settlement East East Boston Company's Whitehaven settlement part of East Boston Company's Whitehaven just settlement. Not more words. Just East Boston. No, Company. but I'm taking out a bunch. Yeah, you're just gonna say I'm taking out like right part bunch. of East Boston or member of part of. I guess it could be either part of the East Boston Company. Or get rid of the part of East Boston Company. Partner. And then you can, partner. Yeah. Partner. partner. But he wasn't in the East Boston Company. He just bought the land and he was sold it to him, right? No, no, in 1833, he was part. I, I'll check that. I think I, he represented them. Yeah, he was he was one of the big he Stephen White, Lewis F. I mean that that's okay. the crew. And but that's I don't why know. he stayed for himself. Yeah. So instead of part, partner. I'll check that to see if I can find something. I'm pretty sure he was. Because, yeah. yeah, we should. But that was my yeah. understanding that he was part of it. And then because he was part of it, once the trees came down, mm -hmm. he knew a lot about the land. And he snagged his part for the next, you know, the next development. In my I, notes that I gave you in, in this, the part about this, Waters when you go, you can't go over there. We're not, we're, we're not there. there. Paragraph before that, though, no. we're skipping around and I'm trying we're to get here. <laughs> okay, then read we're my notes here. here. <laughs> you don't have notes on this. I know. I am. There's There's are no stuff. notes. You have to look right. at this other. Yeah, I'm not the only one getting yelled at. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't gosh, feel guys. so bad anymore. You see, Jody, you see what I said the other night? How many Yeah. Now you know. 25 in each. Wow. In each of about the of the two million? important people. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. don't you think it's important? The original founder of historical society, Buffalo Historical. I think and that's the Erie County Fair and the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Know, but we can't put all of them. Well, this is probably most pertinent for the 
for, for the, the historical centennial yeah. of the county. It, it's yeah. probably, but you're right, there were. Uh, yeah, this is the whole thing is trying to take all this and again condense it into yeah. little snips. Because okay. he did the Erie County Fair a lot. Yeah. I mean, he started just, that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I said, when you're given 25 words, words you're yeah. really. But he may be in other towns. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he was in Buffalo. That, that could be in the Buffalo. Amber. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Partner in East Boston Company developed 800 acre Allenton Farms in, we'll find out the date. Yeah. Progressive farmer, author, land developer, original founder of Buffalo Historic Society. Very good. Good? Yep. Okay. Name three present major sites. No park. To Clapper Memorial. Yep, just to Clapper Memorial. Riverly and Beaver Island State Park. Mm -hmm. And then I just mentioned all the trails that we have. Yeah, so they could go look them up on a Google thing. Now, this is practically the same as number two. So should we say something different? Does this give us a chance to say something different in number two, what we're known for? You can tell me whatever you want. Well, our history was the hotels and the ferry. And what are we known for right now? Yeah, but, oh, but if, we now. if you're trying to draw people, the 16 mile trails is going to draw. That's what we thought. And I'm just thinking, do we not say De Glopper Memorial because we have it down here? Yeah, I agree. And maybe we say, you know, three state, 26 miles of Niagara River waterfront, three state parks, colon, Buckhorn, Big That's Six, what I would do Beaver, is three I'm, state parks as opposed to giving them names. Right, or just, yeah, maybe we just say three state parks and because we have them down here, mm -hmm. or at least we have two of them. They can figure that out themselves. And maybe that allows us to put something else in because we say Riverly in, in Beaver Island State Park. Um, maybe we, we put something else. I mean, well, like, what are we known for though? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like currently Kelly's Country Store. Yeah. Um, what else do people come here? Almost Amazon. Now yeah. that we've lost yeah. Amazon, that would have been another thing to mention. Pizza restaurants. Yes. Fantasy yeah. Island, Many. no more. I know oh, yeah, that Fantasy Island would be very cool. No more. Campgrounds. Yeah, camp. Maybe we say campgrounds because that sort of goes with the multi use trails that get people thinking. They could go look them up. Because there is, you know, KOA branches and then the little ones scattered about. And we have the Radisson. And we have a Holiday Inn Express, and we have a. But I, nice I wouldn't say people, we're known for hotels. No, no. I don't think so either. I don't <laughs> think that's what you want to do. If somebody was in. shopping around, they at least know they have a place to stay. Mm. Right, so, are we going to put Kelly's Country Store in there? I think we should avoid doing business commercial, commercial probably. Yeah. And I'm thinking because the, the other businesses would wonder then why would why they're not right. 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 So, right. so no De Glopper Memorial, no well, I'm Kelly's we, Country Store. But what could we put in? Could, June, could we put well, in something about the? I mean, we do have three clubs. Again, that's private clubs. But the, the whole water. What stuff. about the Buffalo Lounge Club? I mean, if it's really the oldest, oldest powerboat, power I mean, I, mean, I really think we should be mentioning that. We have over 25 right today. now. And that's with, unless you want me to take out the 16 miles of multi-use. No, no, we want that. Okay. 20, we're over 25 right now. Even when you take out the Glopper Memorial? Yeah. And you change it to three parks? Three state parks, Beaver Island, Buck No, Cordy. we won't name them. No, that gives don't you name work. them. Just, just put three state parks. Three state parks. Twenty-six miles of Niagara River waterfront. Maybe we just say twenty-six miles of waterfront. What the hell? They can figure yeah. out Niagara River on their own. One would hope, <laughs> as everyone calls it a lake. <laughs> it is the river. It's a stream. On all the years I taught, right. I didn't take anything from. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, June. You are so right. Three state parks. I got nineteen with campgrounds. I like the campground. I think that's a good idea. Where are you going to put that? Number one. Number two. two. Number two. So read that. Read us number two, Jody. Twenty-six you know. miles of waterfront, Riverly Historical Museum, sixteen miles of multi-use trails, three state parks, K 
campgrounds. I think Riverly Historical Museum. How about marinas or down. something that would yeah, refer I think to we, that? Riverly Historical you know? Museum doesn't Should, need to be there. Go down here. Yeah. Even can you fit in marinas and sailing clubs because or what boating or, clubs because or, um, boating and fishing clubs that would that would take in marinas boating marinas mm -hmm. common boating and fishing clubs we, we should have a bar here <laughs> oh can you imagine <laughs> you know it would, you if I could have a glass of wine <laughs> while I'm getting dragged over the coals marinas. <laughs> What is it? What did we say? Marinas? Say marinas? Fishing clubs. Fishing. Boating. Fishing. Oh, fishing. Boating. fishing. Boating. We're actually known for fishing. I mean, there were yeah. people yeah. out in front of my house this week with their waders on. So we that is something that kind of. Maybe we just, we don't worry about saying clubs. We just, just say, say campgrounds, fishing. marinas, fishing, boating. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hunting. Do we yeah. say yeah. hunting? No. No. no, I don't want to say hunting. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, the fact that. We well, have duck on hunters, on yeah, duck yeah and they and they yeah. duck hunt on. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge deal. So fishing, hunting, and boating, maybe that. All right, Judy, I'll count for you. Don't go panicking. She's counting her words. <laughs> Judy gets nervous here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Twenty-six is one word, right? Where are we right now? Just so that I know. <laughs> number, number, number two. two. In fact, number two on this one. Two. Yeah. <laughs> because okay. it was so. So like we've scratched off. Okay. <laughs> you want a clean piece of paper? I have 17, man. Yeah, we're just 17. I got 18. All right, well, so yes. we're in range. Close enough. We're close. What else do you want? We got more words. Got nine words to work with. You got hunting and fishing. 26 miles of hunting. No hunting. No hunting. But no, I could no, add hunting. No, put hunting in. We need well, hunting. I've got campgrounds, well, fishing, hunting, and boating. places to hunt anymore, right? Yes, the duck hunting. But the duck hunting and the, the, duck hunting. And you're the geese part of, along. Yeah, you and know, we have the Canadian geese hunting. Come over to my house at 5 o'clock in the morning. No, no, that's a, that is a big it's deal. A big it may deal. not be our favorite, but it is. A, they wake me up. You have to drop your three state Maybe put the 16 miles of multi-use trails at the end of that so it doesn't look like you're Fishing and hunting on the trails. God forbid. <laughs> All you need to know about hunting you is to take a walk and look Get at the deer there. stands. Where was I? Really? This week. Oh, yeah, the deer stands behind Heron Point. I walked Heron Point on Tuesday. There's a new section that's probably going, I don't know which direction, probably to the east. Deer stands towards Absolutely. Whitehaven. And there's deer stands all over our property, Gun Creek Woods. Oh, my Lord. Wow. It, because when no there's one is there, guess you. what happens? People use it. Now that it's being developed, now there's trails and whatever, that's scenic woods is full of them. But as soon as you make a trail, suddenly it's replaced because you, you're you no longer wow. out in the middle of nowhere building your stands. Poor deer. I had two of them in my yard when I left today. Oh, I'm not feeling And they didn't move for me. I mean, <laughs> I they think that part of the deer. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You got oh, that, Joe? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, okay. It's like a I salad bar. I in my yard all winter long. Me yeah. too. Right They're just the going yard. looking at me. Yeah, do we? Plant some more stuff. And they're yeah. not afraid of me. Not I can go out and get my mail yeah. and they stand there. They yeah. always email me and add something. All right, so we're we're... We're number done. three, number two. we're done. Down to five, number three. Five, which is, we got. Why don't we take out and and just put Riverly in Beaver Island State Park because that'll tell them where it is. To go after Memorial. Oh, yeah. oh, and then you named the trails, which I think is cool. Is Are we limited to not words here? Doesn't, didn't say, say so. so. You, yeah, that's great. No, that's beautiful. Okay. Does Page Big one. Six have a trail? Does anyone know that? Big Six. I mean, there's a the like, West there's River Trail asphalt. isn't on here. I mean, that's the newest, biggest. Oh my arc. gosh! So, they call it the linear bike path. No, 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 no. The linear bike path goes that's from Bedell to Oh no, no, no. The Shoreline River. Trail is what it was listed as in the Chamber Book. Okay. Hmm. Shoreline Trail. 
And that connects to big six then. That's, so then that would include that. All right, because yeah. I noticed there's a new asphalt path kind yeah. of behind the boat slips. You they have to put a path way. in so they can get to the bathrooms down there. Okay. All right. So we don't have to have another porta potty on West River. Jody, is there, if there's no limit on words, would it make sense to stick in West River in front of Shoreline Trail? Sure. Just because that mm -hmm. might help you. Yes, if I were there and I didn't recognize it, I right. think we. <laughs> But that was smart to use that new chamber. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the three pictures, we said an aerial photo of the island, De Glopper Park and Riverly. Yeah, and aerial, is that right? Because that would be like this, like they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. we said the, the pork chop shape was important. And then if it's a glopper, if you can get one of those how how. how Bob. Yeah, I've got a bunch of and, them. Hey, whatever his name is, however you say it, that an aerial view of the park would be cool. He's got some neat, very nice ones that shows the okay. two roads and the, there might be one in the lobby. It does, would any of these pictures have water in them? I mean, the tears. island picture. Yeah. With it, I mean, it's the, it's the shape. Cork chunk okay. of the river. I just want yeah, to be line. sure. I mean, that's what we're known for. Exactly. We want to be sure that we've got water in at least absolutely. one of them. Okay, on to the next one. Okay. So this is the first paragraph. I would change it to there were Indian villages on the island that use that were used for fishing and hunting and the burying of dead of their dead. It might be controversial to say there was never any. I probably wouldn't do that. There weren't any permanent villages, only there were, how about if I just said there were only temporary vill Indian villages? Or not only, just there were temporary Indian villages or native, whatever you said. Yeah, so say there were temporary, in it, so do it like this. Yeah, it was seasonal. <clears throat> so there were- There's a good word to use too. I, I would just, um, put a line through from never all the way to while and just say there were temporary okay. Indian villages on the island that they used for fishing and hunting and the burying of their dead. Couldn't you put seasonal there? Because that's what they were. Received. That's even better. There were seasonal yeah. Indian vill villages on the island that they used for fishing, hunting, and the burying of their dead. Yeah. So there were seasonal Indian villages on the island that they used for fishing and hunting and the burying of their dead. And that's fewer words too. Could we add a, uh, something before that though that talks about the fact that it was not even known if it was Canadian or US? Well, you don't have to, but I just think that's one of the yeah, fascinating things about Grand Island is that we're one of the few places in the U.S. that they couldn't even figure out yeah, who we belong right. to. What you know? era is that, June? Would that start us off? Yeah. It's 1820. No, so, it's 1820s. So this is how I would do that. I would Early say. 1820s. But New York couldn't have bought Grand Island in 1815 15, right. until it was declared to, part of the U.S. The so I think it had to come before that. Was that Treaty of Ghent for Navy Island? Just to keep it simple. For this, the border. This would be yeah, my right. suggestion. That's, that's what I'm, yeah. Well, all right, listen to my presentation. So, so I would go with Grand Island was purchased by New York State in 1815 from the Seneca Indians for $1,000, resolving, um, resolving any dispute whether it was owned by Canada or the US. Is that accurate? And then we didn't know if we were owned by Niagara County or Erie County. Oh, yeah, that came. But this, I think June's mainly talking about the country. We could be Canadian yeah. or American. Jody, you need a DM purchase. Mm -hmm. I see. You already that. got that. Okay. Um, resolving any dispute. On whether it was U.S. or Canadian. Is there a better way to say of ownership. Yeah. Of, of ownership. Canadian or American ownership. Perfect. Of ownership mm -hmm. between U.S. and Canada. Resolving any dispute. What happened was, is that the English owned it and then it went back to the 
Correct. to the Indians. The French right. then had it and it went back to the Indians. It always went back to the Indians. So it wasn't like Canada was ever going to own it. So what you're talking the any treaty ownership of get, questions. There wasn't any ownership questions because the Indians owned it. No, they don't. You can't say they owned it. They didn't own it, own it. Red Jacket claimed they claimed that well, they owned and it. They were here and then other people yeah. took possession of it. They owned it as much as anybody else owned it. But right. I think, I don't know exactly what the date would be, Jody, but I know that they, when it was finally yeah, decided it. that it belonged to New York State as a result of it being designated U.S. property, that is when the Boston Land Company or whatever their name is, decided that they would get the sheriff and the governor involved to throw the squatters off Out, because right. of the value of the timber. So that was the, as I understand it, the historical sequence of events. The squatters were 1817 to 1819 and mm -hmm. the Niagara County Sheriff dumped them out in December of 1819. That's because they were getting ready to build the Erie Canal and they wanted them out of there and they wanted, to, they wanted the land to be sold by New York State so that they could get the money from it. Also, I believe the Treaty of Ghent, which is when they decided when the boundary was, was in the early 1820s, like 1822, 1823. That's when they decided Wasn't there was a commission the boundary on that the, West the West River and where it was going to be. Right. So maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's the line between Navy Island and West River. That right. When that, whenever that was declared, I think that's when, then the rest of this came after that, it seems to me, because New York State didn't even own it until it was part of the U.S. and declared part of the U.S. I don't, I, 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 I when is this due? No, oh, I got the end of the month. Oh, oh, okay. So we can go look up, we can find Yeah, I got well, That's good but, news. I mean, I looked at, Marion Klingles, I looked sure, at sure. online, I looked at Barry Burnett's two-inch book. I have that historical stuff that we got from um, the Buffalo mm -hmm. Museum when Jerry and I were working on that book. I'll, go, I'll try to find that it's like date there and see if I can find that Jody, I have section in it that gives the dates. That's a good thing. It says 500 in this book, but this is just, this is the sale. He's mm -hmm. trying to sell it, so he could have purchased it. Well, which is more. because he had the rest where Falconwood yes, was. Yes, you're right. He had already sold that off. So, you are right. Yeah. So the original was 800 acres. Okay. All right. All right, so we got to do this Treaty of Ghent thing. So could we, could we do this just to save a little time in the meeting here? Um, run through these paragraphs, see if people have anything that they really want to add. And then Mary and Jody... If I could ask the two of you to get together and maybe clean it up and get it ready to send in and just send us all a copy. Would that be all right? And then we wouldn't have to go through every, right, every line. Detail. But you're going to find here. some dates for this because Jody's got this. Yes, does Clark I will look for the e dates. No? I'm sorry? Does Pendleton Clark, does Clark have an E? Or well, is that disputed? That's just That was disputed by the... Um, Pomeroy Foundation, right. but I that too I think is in that same information. Oh, you so have. I'll try to so dig try it to all find out because I yeah. I've seen it both ways. Right. So have I. <laughs> okay. I do have some other suggested okay. changes. Well, well, could I ask this then? If you have changes that you want to suggest, how would it be if people do like basically like I did and, and send you some notes and yeah, but then I'm going to be bombarded from eight different ways. And but true. you don't have to accept them. Just no. <laughs> but I think we got to discuss that. Yeah, because I mean, what's I important to you might not be important to her. But you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. it's got to be a consensus. Okay. So the fourth that. sentence down, I would just change it rather than the same area and more. I would just change it to, because I think that's more information you, than you need to know. 16,000 acres was purchased. Yeah, I would spell it out to can we, say Can 16, we start up? I mean, we I think we finished the top except for the treaty again. So right. what about the second? Can we go just to the second mm -hmm. one and go down from there? Just so I, I we're not jumping around sure. from... Instead of saying first settlers, why don't we just say squatters occupied the island from yep. 1817 to 1819. 
And I'm going to guess most people are going to know Pendleton is in Niagara County. I, I would just eliminate in Niagara County if you want to save words. Are we trying to save words in this one or not? Yeah, we need we have 500 words in this. I would eliminate in Niagara County. Then. Yeah, and, and maybe even because Pendleton got happens because they got booted off the island, mm -hmm. right? So maybe that comes after if you use it at all. So-called governor of Grand Island. So they can figure that stuff out. That's really not our history. Right. Who, so the governor of Grand Island, who was, was removed, was he removed? And I wouldn't even bother it. I would just say in 1890 by the sheriff of Niagara County, mm -hmm. who then went, under the order of DeWitt Clinton. I always love that. <laughs> who, who then went <laughs> and no formed to the, the, the town of Pendleton. Period. Well, wouldn't that like let Pendleton handle that? that right? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you can. That's that's really not even your county history. Mm -hmm. Squatters occupied Grand Island from 1817 to 1819. Um, so we don't even have to mention Pendleton? Yeah. Squatters occupied Grand Island from 1817 to 1819. Maybe the word included among them was Pendleton Clark, the so-called governor of Grand Island, who was removed in 1819 by the sheriff. And I don't even know if we have to say. Yeah, just say sheriff. The sheriff. Because that's history that can be looked at. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now, in the third paragraph, is the four men is, or do we have to figure out if Alan was one of those? I think he was. Alan was one of those. Oh, okay. The state sent the board. Yeah, I don't know if and four men purchased it. Do we need that information? I know that's what I was wondering too. Do we um, I, setting the value? I think is good, but then I'm wondering yeah. it. Do we really need the rest of that, or can and we? Don't say men. You say might four individuals, or just yeah. New York State. New York yeah. State set the value of forty-eight hundred thousand dollars in eighteen twenty-five, or maybe set the value of the island's seventeen thirty eighty-one acres at. Just move that. Is that how many acres are on the island total? Yeah. So that's the entire island. Yeah. So they bought the island. They bought the island. Absolutely. So don't even bother with the acres. So the, the state set the value of all of island property at $48,000 in 1825. And, and it was purchased by several individuals. Well, maybe just then it was purchased for uh, harvesting white oaks or something. But then where's Samuel Leggett? How did that he didn't happen until 1833? How did You're right. 1825. Okay, the four men. Was so when 1825 is when Leggett got 2,500 for Mordecai Noah, but if he wasn't one of the four, I don't no, think. No. No. He was just No, he only, it was 48,000 for all 17. Thousand acres is right. what it cost to buy, and so the four guys bought it, and only twenty five hundred of the acres were sold to Mordecai Noah from one of the four. Alone. He never Samuel even paid Leggett. for it, right? He so sent Samuel Leggett. You can't even say it was, you know. Well, we can say it just like Samuel Leggett purchased twenty five hundred acres for Mordecai Noah. We don't yeah. have to say, and he never paid him. Right. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, and that's pretty, yeah, people, I mean, that's, that's good. a good way, yeah. Yeah. And then you have to mention the error at, it never came mm -hmm. about, right? right? Mm -hmm. But that's a good thing to include the 2,500 acres, because some people got this mysterious notion that the entire island was purchased by yeah. Mordecai Noah, and it mm -hmm. was not. It was mm -hmm. a little tiny thing, as opposed to 16,000 acres for the Boston Company. Okay. Now on to fourth. So 16,000 all, all spelled out, not just in numbers. Acres. No, why would you not? Why would I? Well, see this, you know, like a, it's 16,000 acres was bought by the East Boston Company. Yep. So, and I think you say, and the Whitehaven settlement was right. developed. 
because that was the only name and it was only, and then we get that in there without having to do extra words. I just kind of wanted to tie it in with Mordecai Noah's property. You know, it was the same property and much more is why it was $16,000 or 16,000 acres was purchased by right. the East Boston Company. But if you don't think that needs to be in there. No, and especially if we're getting, well, in that way, having 17381 is helpful to know how big the island is, but we'll get to that. I think saying, saying the same area isn't clear. Is it the 17 or the 2,500? Yeah, it doesn't add up. Yeah. <laughs> so if we just said 16,000 acres was major, purchased but... in 1833 by the East Boston Company and the Whitehaven settlement was developed to produce, to process oak timber. Good. Should it be the Whitehaven sawmill sediment? No, Whitehaven no, sediment. Go look it up. Settlement, I think. Because <laughs> they're processing oak timber. Because you then you say it featured the first school, store, and church, and the largest sawmill in the mm -hmm. U.S. And sawmill is one word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard that a few times. The mill closed in the late 1840s. <laughs> and then the oak would be a small oak. But this. June doesn't I think look it's like interesting. Well to do. I do think it's interesting that the oaks were used for sailboat or sailing masts or yeah, ship masts. Ships, yeah. I don't know if you want to add that, but that's um, that's a historical interview. interesting point. Yeah. If we maybe if there's enough room into I think to process, process oak timber into for clipper ships into clipper ships. Spars for but clipper was, ships and staves for barrels. whiskey barrels. Not for not for really the history of the squatters. I don't think we need for no. My kind of town, sailing what and whiskey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was, the it was so a reason I moved here. There you go. Right. So, you okay, can... in the 1850s, the island became a playground for the wealthy families on the mainland for the, is there more than Buffalo or was it just Buffalo? I think Buffalo. it was basically Buffalo. Yeah. So I think we could for, say that. For wealthy buff, Buffalo, Buffalo families, yes. that would solve it. Yeah. 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 I just underlined for that, Jody, because of the well-to-do yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah, you're right, and I didn't they, know by using it yeah, anyway. Yeah. So. Well, I can't help it. I just, well, that's why I had, some people should do this and some should, should not. This. Are you saying you should not? Maybe? And you know why they came here for our fresh water because the sewerage was so bad in the Buffalo River. Oof. The whole town stunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell. And they actually wanted the fresh air and they clean living here. What'd you put? I wrote in the 1850s, the island became a playground for wealthy Buffalo families. Period. Okay. Well, well, that's good. I like it. Wealthy Buffalonians. Because they weren't I'll all come families. back one word. That's yeah. good. And they weren't all families. <laughs> they were partners. <laughs> As we know. She's <laughs> getting a little hostile over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I you're sitting there, there right? Denise. You're a little far. <laughs> this is not a fun day. But we're we'll we'll get through it and then we'll be able to put the words together and we'll be able to tear it apart again. Was Falconwood and Oakfield, those are both on the island as well, yes. I assume. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. West River, Southern West River. Other nearby clubs were Southern Club. And we might. Was the Macomb House a regular hotel or did you have to be membership? It was both. I was believe. It? I'd have to go it look started it out as a because hotel. Because I was at the Dell House was the only membership. Member. Yeah. Okay. So. It, when you say Lewis F. Allen, for whom Allentown is. Wait, named? wait, are we done with? Are, are we liking that? I, I guess, island? yeah, I like what you've got so far. I just wondered where you could, what is the year for the uh, Buffalo Launch Club? I just think 1903, I believe, oh, or 06. In the, yes. in the single okay, digits. Okay, so it comes up. Yeah, later. I just wanted digits, to be sure so we gotta, don't I'll just make leave that out. Yeah, single so. digits. I think we Buffalo need to. Launch Club. Yeah, that is a pretty big deal. Um, Jody, maybe we can get rid of some words if we say, other nearby clubs were the Falconwood and the Oakfield, because we don't need to say 
And Club. then it would be small T's and just capital F on Falcon Road and capital well, O on Oak that was their title. It was like the Ohio State. It was mm -hmm. the Falconwood and the Oakwood. Oakwood. From what I understand, what sure. I if you I say the Falconwood Club, but if we ditch club, just whatever. ditch club, just ditch club. Yep. Leave the capitals. Yeah. I don't really. That care. works. Whatever works. But it just you don't need to keep saying okay. located in or near. Let us know the address. I would or just say just, in eliminate in or just located near what is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is now Beaver Island State Park? Okay. Too large. Located. Actually, if you do that, you could just drop nearby above it. Yeah. Other clubs were. You got it. And then I'm wondering two large hotels were located at the south end of the island, but do we care? No. Two large hotels. Well, were, south then that's where everything was. And there was no hotels on the north right. end. So then why would we have to say be where the ferries came? Yeah. So yeah. two large hotels were the Bedell House and the Macomb House. <laughs> Do you want the years? I like the years. Mm -hmm. I like um, do you want the East River and West River in there? No. I think they'll figure it out because they're so close. I mean, Bedell House, where the Bedell House was located, you're kind of right on the brink. It's sort of, you know, it's like right on the tip. Anybody who really cares is going to look go into look. it. Exactly. You know? right. So I don't Too think it's needed. Hotel. Yeah, we're the. You know, when I when I was looking at that, so the 1877, is that a year or is that the address? Right. Well, we're going to get rid of East that River. The so year. it's the year it was the built. Year it was Good. built. Yeah, because I was taking that as address now. That yeah, right. I, I noticed that too when right. I was when I first read Somewhere. it. 1877 <laughs> East River, that doesn't sound quite right. Yeah, it should be okay. We probably have to say, are we good now? Can we go to Lewis F or not yet? Or, I'm thinking we have to say what Allentown is. Yeah, Lewis we got to say Buffalo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Buffalo's, 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 Buffalo's Allentown. 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 I think of Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah Buffalo's. Yeah. Allentown. Buffalo's Allentown is named. Developed. 1800 or 800. Yeah, we'll find out the date. That, that looks good. Do we need Allentown Farms in that sentence? Or could it just say developed 800 acres on the southeast end? I mean, yeah, how many could. times do we have yeah. to say Allen? I guess so. Right. Can we say farm so they know if you developed 800 acre farm? Okay, Jeff, you idea. just said the farm produced in the next sentence. The farm produced. No, it says it produced. Yeah, but if we change that to the yep. farm produced, then you got okay. the idea that it's a farm. We also should probably say something about the experimental cattle because that was the big, huge deal. Mm -hmm. He wrote that book. That's why Grover Cleveland stayed. Who was that guy looking for more? Was that developed 800 acres on the southeast end of the island? 1950s. Farm produced. Vegetables. Farm produced. Farm housed. Experimental cattle. I don't know if you produce experimental cattle. Who raised no, uh, uh, bread. Cattle. Say bread. bread. Farm. Well, we have the farm produced. So he he bred ex or he. How about the farm? The farm produced hay, fruit, and vegetables, and bred, and bred experimental cattle. Okay. And then I would go on to say 
Um, still standing is Riverly, a, a home built by Allen for his son in 1873, and then eliminate the period it is and just say in 1873 located in Buffalo or Beaver Island State Park, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, does it matter that he built it for his son? Home built by Allen in 1873. Maybe, yeah, if we're, if we're short on words, that could, or if we need words, we could get rid of that. Still standing is Riverly. Um, a, even, home, a, comma, a home built by Allen in 1873. Oh, and already, they already know it. Do they already know it's in Beaver Island State Park? Or did we lose? Oh, we have that on the previous page. We, so Riverly so say this, State still standing is Riverly's, an Allen or a home built by Allen at Riverly. I think it's neat that it was for his son's wedding gift. In 1873 for his son. No, no I don't say I think the important part is it was built by him. Yeah. And then why don't you just put a period there and say located in Beaver Island mm -hmm. State Park is, it serves as a museum for the Grand Island Historical Society. Would that chop up the, word, the wording? Any? Yeah, maybe you don't even have to say Beaver Island State Park. Because it's on the previous page, River Beaver yeah. Island State Park. Yeah, so maybe it's just. So I would say <coughs> still standing is a home built by Allen in River Lee. Not in River no, Lee, it no, is River Lee. Still standing is a home built by Allen for his son in 1873, River Lee. Yep, good. The Museum for the Grand Island Historical Perfect, Society. that eliminated a bunch of words. You get an A plus for that one, Mary. <laughs> Right. Wait a minute. In 1872, what about the museum? Okay, it's, no. the sentence now reads, still standing is a home built by Allen for his son in 1873. Wait, no. I have. We added for his son. Back then. Want the for his son in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Riverly, the museum for the Grand Island Historical Society. I have it here. And they're okay. going to get a chance to blast this in. Are we on to the next paragraph? Yes. So I don't get yelled at. So instead of <laughs> recreation spots, I think we're referring to amusement parks. So I think we should call it amusement parks from the late 1800s. They weren't all amusement no. parks. They had dance halls, Mike, and they okay. were, yeah, they make that pretty clear in something. Like Sheenwater was a boarding was a house. hotel. Well, was a hotel. hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So then we need to look they at. They didn't have rides. They weren't an actual amusement. They had. Electricity parties, and <laughs> so then we say these amusement parks, but maybe just these parks on the third line. So, actually, I would change that first pair of <laughs> sentence to say so recreation spots from the 1800s, blah blah blah. So, right up to the end on the East River, which were accessed by ferry boats from the mainland, period. And then that eliminates that whole next sentence. Mm -hmm. So which were accessed by ferry boats from the mainland. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but makes it a long sentence though, but. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so the next, the last sentence, I think you almost have to put the from and then to a low of 626. So oh, after, after the golden era of the 1800s, the population dropped from blank to a low of 626. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, we can find that. And then I'm wondering, you know, we. All right, because we're talking about people who just are coming for the short term. Could we but, just insert island before population? Yeah, I just think that would idea. make it clear. 
We have to find the population. Mm -hmm. Frankly, if you needed more space for words or you needed to delete more, I would take that whole piece out about the first roads. I don't think it's in. It is interesting about the churches, though, right? Although I don't know about the congressional church. Congregational, congregational. thank you. St. Stephen's Church was established in 1861 and shortly after the Evangelical Church in 1864. Do we have a date for what's congregational church? Is that? St. Stephen's? No, 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 there was, there it was, was still on Grand down. Island Boulevard. It's where it started Green's. out on West River and then went to, if, yeah. If we don't have right. a date for that. Maybe we leave it out or if we it's, have a date. Well, all they it, said was it, it was, was right after St. Stephen's, but before the Evangelicals. And so. it was the English speaking church because the Evangelical was, it was, it was the, in German. Was German. The Evangelical Brethren. Was so maybe German. you should say St. Stephen's Church was church and the congressional congregational church were established in 1861 and shortly after no roads no correct roads. shortly after the evangelical church in 1864 so only we had the words to describe why they built those churches <laughs> So really St. Stephen's was established as Mary Stars. Yes, I think that was the original because they did it. No, it was always St. Stephen's. St. Stephen's was St. Stephen's and then Mary Star of the Sea didn't come until 1948. Oh, that because was that though. was down, yeah, and that was to save well, no, the world. Was in 1948. Yeah. That's when they put the edition out. But before, but it was First, after it was, it was early. Step. So yeah. St. Stephen's was the original. Then they decided to go try yes. to claim some of these yes. yeah. river people who were no, coming. The Cavagrisha's church was the one that was supposed to be burned down. Right. But they came and burned Trinity instead. instead. Maybe we can find something about the Cavagrisha mm -hmm. with the even though it wasn't in the stuff during the mission. Yeah, I think it was just open as a little chapel to save souls, seriously. That's why it was down On by the, the West River. River. Yeah, exactly. You know, because yeah. there, there was so much drinking that they thought they should offer something to save their souls. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the more hilarious parts of Grand yeah. Island history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like the old story of dogs died downtown Buffalo, you know, where they yeah. shoot people down into the river. <laughs> your last time what a way to take care of your criminals you know just mm -hmm. pop them over there and throw them in the river should right. i put the this is up a, up a paragraph should i put the after the golden era where, with the counts and add it to where the south and put that first and then have the with the building of the north and south bridges um population oh it might be good yeah, yes. kind of goes yes. with that. Yeah, yeah. It does. Well, according to the Centennial book, the reason the population went down is because farming went down. Yeah, people didn't want to. They couldn't. Didn't want to farm anymore. No. They had opportunities. And the next generation the wanted to. Yeah, go do something different. Do something else. And there were no roads to get over here, so that was the other thing. Yeah. And instead of count, population. population. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Are we on to the, the building of the bridges yet? Yeah, we should. It's yeah, we're going to add the um, after the golden era of the late 1800s. Uh, the island population, um, 
Okay. Because you remember writing. Do you think that from, was, I'm going to find out that number to a low of 626. And that's going to go, and then following with the building of North and South Bridges in 1935, housing developments at the North and South ends of the island were in business. Do we think we care about when the second span was built? 62? So is that not the North and South Bridges? Or the second span? A single no, a single bridge until Got it. the 60s. Maybe if we have extra, if we have space, that might not be bad. Not super important, but. Or if so you I needed, would say, you could I just would say first to, bridges if you didn't want to say north and I south. I would actually would say, say with the building of a north of a north and south bridge. 1935. Then I would change the next sentence to housing at the north and south ends of the island began to be developed. So I'd eliminate the word developments. So housing at the north and south ends of the island began to be developed. I don't know if you like that or not. Sure. Okay. And then so I that's would say, opposed to mid, that's a, because I mean, it, the, the idea of the developments are before that we had houses all over the place, just farmhouses. But now there were like official, Grand Isle, you know, the official house, like someone bought up land and built housing. Well, a lot of that was after the war. I don't think it had much to do with the bridges. So what, what was, was the, the date? What was the date on Sandy Beach? That's 30, 37. 37 yeah, so that would have, yeah, because after yeah. the war would have been. Yeah. The yeah. There was more yeah. after right. that. So right. maybe it's at the north and south ends of the island housing developments began to be constructed. I don't know. That's my best guess. What do we do? We just saying, what's the beginning of that, Mike? What's the bridges just with the bit, just. With the building of a North and South bridge in 1935. That way people know it's not four bridges, it's two. Of uh, North and of South. A, bridge. South and okay. North, yeah, right. In 1935, what was the rest of it? Housing developments. Housing at the north and south ends of the island began to be developed. But then we were talking about oh, developments. So then, sorry, in 1935, the north and south ends of the island. I don't really, I don't know, because you're trying to say housing developments or correct because we're different or, than just building houses. Yep, for, that it. would be housing developments at the north and south ends of the island. Constructed. constructed. Yeah. Yeah. Again to be yeah. constructed. And then I'm thinking for the next one, by 1960, the island population was 9,600. And in, in today, it is over 20,000. Yeah, we have a 2020 count, don't we? We have a 2010. I think it's almost 22,000. Wow. That's what I yeah. thought it was more than Because I think from 20, 2000 to 2010, we grew, we were one of three Erie County towns that grew and we grew by almost 10%. Mm. That which was, I mean, we don't have to put all that in here, but we have, we have numbers for those. So we can. I think over 21,000 is a safe number. I mm -hmm. think it's probably closer to over 22, but. I think it would, if we can fit it in to say 22,000 and growing so that we can yep. claim that we are the town that has the growth. Right. In 2010, we were one of three towns that grew, and we had three Tim Hortons, and that was like major news everywhere you went. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> it's uh, easy. Being in government. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yay. We drink a lot of coffee. We drink here. a lot of coffee. <laughs> we had joked with the touring authority because they said, 
we were interested in trying to get people to not use that Beaver Island entrance when we were fixing the South Bridge. And we joked when we said one at one meeting, oh, get a Hortons in the center of the island. And by God, they did. And then <laughs> people from the north, instead of driving all the way south on Stony or the boulevard and pulling into the Hortons and going on the South Bridge were well on the throughway. They got their coffee up in the center of town. And then they were on, because that's what the throughway authority, they, that Beaver Island entrance is very difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they, the more people that are on the throughway when you get there, the better off you are. <laughs> we were just laughing. Like, oh my gosh, they really. Are. I think the last paragraph is fine, Joe. Yes. Mm -hmm. I gotta find the name of that. I uh, have changes. Corridor. Sorry. Yeah, I, I fish yeah. the name. I'll find it. Yeah, we were just, yeah, Denise was just saying it's in the minutes because she just wrote it, and we'll find it. So hey, I would change the last paragraph like this, if that's what, if we're ready to go to that. Sure. So Grand Island is now home to eco tourism, which includes. Fishing, boating, biking, walking, etc. So no further changes there. Then the next sentence, it is also a migratory bird corridor that draws many bird watchers. And I don't think I would include which can be seen by nearby island, islands of Strawberry and Pirates Island. That's my thinking. But if you if you think those are worthy of noting that then well, bird watching is already in there. Right. So I don't think I'd put it in again. And I'm thinking too, True. the official name of that corridor, we're yeah. going to find out yeah. what that is. Because that, that has a know. That's a we'll huge do designation. Yes. And yeah. we got it, you know, along the way. Yeah, we'll put that in there. Yeah, so you don't need to talk about bird watching, then, is what you're saying. Right. Well, it is also so the name has, was named a blah, blah. Bird corridor, um, yeah, named whatever. Yeah, yeah there must be if there's room to put in something about it being kind of nationally recognized right. or whatever. My mother-in-law's yeah. autobahns yeah. called King. Yeah, yeah. yeah we might be able to include that in the whole um, title. No, because that happened. Mm -hmm. you know, that, was a, that was a huge deal. Good job, Jody. <laughs> you got all that? Oh, good job, Jody. You yeah. It never happened yeah. if you started it. Right. Cool. Good girl. Right. <laughs> She's not buying it. Yeah. You should good be job. very yeah. June is first. Good. June first is when this has to be done. No. So Niagara River Corridor. He's looking it up. Is that what it is? It has, it, there's a there's stuff around. Yeah, it has a name. We'll it's a major. It. It's a major. Yeah, and it's it, a migratory. I'm trying to Google it. And, and it has a it. It, whatever we call, whatever it's called has a yes, nationally a known. Yes. Does it, I mean, when you say it's that, not yes. more it means nationally. something. It's, like it's international, more, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we'll find that. Phew, good job. Jordan. Okay. I hate to point this out, but that was actually supposed to be under new business. So no, we I'm not gonna call on you for that one. We'll get to that. <laughs> I have to do it all again. <laughs> <That's really funny. laughs> You're right. That we just anyway, plowed right into that. One other thing though, Robinson. <laughs> I wanted to go back to this plaque thing. Do we have a plaque for the schoolhouse on the Gerber property? No. We were What's wondering about in years doing that. that well, we the, could take probably take the one from number Kelly's number five. Would it be the same? 1877. Is it about the same time period? I have no idea, but we can look that up. So Nicole has number eight, correct? I think it yeah, is. We eight. looked that up at one point. I remember yeah, that. I don't know. Because so I remember there was a debate between three and eight or I still something. still had that school stuff that yeah. we got. If the date fits, and I think because we were talking about doing that the same day with May 23rd when we go over there for the tour. I can't go. Oh, but that's right. I can give you yeah, I can no longer go either, but proceed. I just, we had to do a family thing and it had to be that day. So I was like, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Well, there's miss. a lot going on that weekend. It doesn't make sense to really have it when the you guys are doing the garage sale. Well, we, could, sale. we can move Wednesday, it. I mean, she Saturday. said, yeah. you know, if it doesn't work out, I let her know. Change you want to push yeah, it up that's further? A bad weekend. I mean, we can, we don't have to go then. 
I'm sure we can change it. Yeah, yeah because we, when yeah, is your wedding too. over? <laughs> <laughs> July, right? <laughs> if, it, if, if the September. stage. Well, be free. yeah. <laughs> when do you come back to Earth, Joy? 19th, and then we have a mom's memorial on the 20th. Is this in July? June. Oh, in June. Oh. Okay. So, so after June 20th? Well, I mean, Memorial Day weekend, I, I'm around. I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know about, you know, but Nicole is probably right. off on weekend. that Monday. Yeah, I mean, it's the holiday weekend. But still, would that Sunday be better? The 30th of May? So I, we're, I mean, if it would work I mean, for her, I don't need to be here. Is yeah. that yeah. Memorial weekend? Yeah. Memorial weekend. Yeah. This is the Memorial Day this year is the 31st. The latest it can ever be. Does that work for people? Is June going to... Are you going to check that? I can check. check with Joe, too. Well, how about that? The next, whatever that next. The next one is Sunday. June 6th. The developer dedication is the 5th right. on yeah. Saturday morning. The 6th is the following Sunday. Do we want to give up two days of our lives that weekend? Reasonable point. <laughs> I don't care. I'll ask her one or the other. Yeah, or, yeah. or check with Joe too and see what yeah. his schedule is like. All right, okay. so we're we're in agreement that we are not going to do this on the twenty third. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, Jody. Can we get press releases for these plaques when we do do that, or, or do we need to do something to make sure it gets a picture in the dispatch? Well, yeah. See, Mike Hansen doesn't like. That. Publicity, right? And his He's, wife doesn't even want to clean the front porch, so we can put it up. So <laughs> can you still clean the porch? But <laughs> so those, yeah, away, this picture oh, thing. thing. So, so then, do we just put a picture of the plaque on the house, or no, no picture? I think he might do a picture, but oh, but I think we got to set it up. We got to set it up, and and I've got a bunch of information about that house, so. You know, okay. I can do before. Well, we don't want to do it beforehand. We would want a picture, and then afterwards, this is given well, a plaque, and this is yeah, kind of yeah, I, do it. I mean, I'm thinking maybe they would do a some kind of a big spread in the Grand Island Dispatch if we did the schoolhouse because we haven't given them theirs yet. So if we did the schoolhouse, school below the Anson House, and then the the uh, all property, and maybe we could have pictures of the four of them and a big article about the preservation of property. Do you think we could pull something like well, that? Well, in the past, we've done them one at a time, so we right. had more, more know, one thing, here, right, one but here, I think, one yeah. here. I, yeah. I think I might have them in here. I just saw the shipment. Yeah, we, yeah, just, we, we just, just had, had a picture. picture. We did right, we have a picture and just a little shirt. thing and just a little names of the about, people, with, you know, yeah. in the blurb. So I but think if we if we could get them to do all four of them in one yeah. article, we could give them more information about what yeah, we're about doing, houses. and maybe get more splash on, in that way rather than little dribbles mm -hmm. of things. What do you think? Who so do we need to talk sense. to about that, Jody? I don't know. Yeah. At the, who, at who? The dispatch. I mean, I, I oh, think, Karen Keefe is. Karen, she just said she's the new there. editor. Yeah. But you know, the other thing to think about, there's an island wide coming out this coming week, like the whatever Friday, a week from today. So maybe focus on the next island wide and see if they would do that, because then at least it would get to everybody. Just a thought. They do okay. four a year. Oh, here we go. Here are what's, the homes. What's her last name? Ke Keith. Karen Kate. 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 Okay. And see, we already recognized the Alp House, mm -hmm. but just the house, not the whole property. That was, all right, so that was December of 2016. November of 2016 was the shipment, and oh brother, tell me I didn't put the date. Oh no, November of 16 was Meyer, so it was yeah, November 16th Meyer. That was the first one. No, a week later, November 25th in 2016 was shipment, and then the alt was December 2nd. So that all happened like mm -hmm. boom, 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 three weeks straight. And then it was whatever the caption. So small. You know, Susie's was 
The Clabbered farmhouse was built by the Alt family in the mid 1860s and has round arched windows and an ornate natural wood door. That's all. Shipman's was built circa 1865 by Asa Ransom, a historic landowner in Western New York and the third supervisor of Grand Island. Property was later purchased by Peter de Glopper in 1885. He ran a blacksmith and wagon shop. De Glopper purchased the MC, capital C A B E E. I never heard that. Maccabee. Maccabee but it's Hall. supposed to be Maccabee Hall. That's not how Maccabee Hall. No, it's I've not how it's spelled. It spelled. But this says no, should be two um, B's and purchased e the Maccabee building and attraction at the Pan Am Exposition in 1901. Tore the building down, hauled it to Grand Island, and enlarged the original. Okay, no, not the same house. thing. So, so this is a different right. thing. It could be right. The site also was also operated as a large fruit farm by the Ransom and DeGlopper families. And then in the alt thing, built circa 1870 by the Alt family who came from Leipzig, Germany. Gerber is a fifth generation Alt to live in the Clabberg farmhouse. Alt family founded the first car dealership on the island in the 1930s and was very prominent in much of Grand Island development. The house and barn are on 33 acres was left from hundreds of acres farmed years ago. Also on the property is an original Grand Island schoolhouse, number eight, so there we go. Mm -hmm. Listed on the 1887 school district map is being located on the Dell Road near baseline. 1887. So it's with the 1877 thing, would it have been built by then? We have, we, I have a number eight. There's some information on number eight. You might be able to find that. Yeah, that would be good. Where, isn't there cards somewhere with the yeah. schoolhouses? And yeah. And you made copies of those, and I, I have the copies. The cards are up in the file. Right. Up in the ribbon. That would have been yeah, that's what I'm imagining that the card, the copies that I use that you made. That was created in like 1960s or something, the late 60s. They put those cards yeah, together. Yeah, Veronica so, Connor wrote those. Yeah. Yeah. So that should, they should probably that's be the best, best information that we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. All right. So, anyway, so what you're saying is um, hopefully. Well, that's well, I'm an just idea. suggesting it. And Maybe we would think wide. about doing something that. like that if they would give us a big so spread and give us more publicity. It's supposed to be four times a year. Right. So we've already had two. Really, we've already had two. And we're having another one? We're have no, no, no. The yes, second one is two. next Friday. Usually. It's like every like four months. So if there's one or every three months, there's sometimes also April, May, June, July. Every three months. I'm not so sure that I probably wouldn't be till, till July. July. And then August, September, October. Usually the last one is around election time. Right. And this year is local election, so that would work. And they, they had one, didn't they have one February? I think it was the first week they ran. Yeah, it was February 5th because they ran that first story on the, the Glopper. And they're doing them each week. Yikes. Okay, should jump in there about the Glocko on Center Mine. Oh yeah, Mary, do you read our um, display board at the church? I read the library or not? Remember we discussed one it. In the, you see out in the foyer here you have a display. Yeah, well, I don't, that's Bob, those are Bob Hanks pictures, I believe. You said you were going to check at that next meeting? Yes. yes. So Joe, did you want me to oh, call? Oh, okay. They put it off. Karen it was supposed to, to be see. last night, but then they changed it. I'm sure she would do a okay. express. Um, sorry for jumping in. But no, yeah. no, 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 no. Well, they like it. I need to do that. Well, why don't I call her and see if she would consider doing it in whenever the next island-wide issue is going to be. Or maybe not the next one. you want to wait until July? Because the next one's next week, and that's, you know, that's not going to be pulled together in a week. No, we can't today. put it together. No, it's going to have to be. Today. If we did a big I, one, you're I, right. It was we still, if we do, we're going to have to order, order another. another paperboard, or do we just want to well, we need a plaque for which takes? Oh. Do we pay for it? Or so I six weeks. Far away when you we can afford to pay for Well, it's true. I mean, maybe we just ask her about, I mean, you know, do these chicks and pictures and then. Ask her if we can yeah, just put it all together and get one big okay, article. We're not. I mean, if we could get a full page, that would be well, great. Yeah, that's set up on last year. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. It's nice to okay. buy something that wasn't even I'll available. I'll call. I don't know her at all. It's so oh, she's nice. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's very yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Can we move on then, ladies yeah. um, and gentlemen? Um, <laughs>
to I'm old business. Older way thinking about yeah. it. I know. The next thing I want to bring up then is um, uh, the library display. And I know that Sharon and Mary have been talking about a lot of this. So I thought I just listed some things that I thought about, but if you could address these, that would be helpful. Sharon. Um, the Galat, we were just the, uh, having a side conversation about the Galapa display. The, the group was supposed to meet last, last night, but for whatever reason, the meeting is a week from last night. So I haven't brought that to anyone's attention yet to see if they wanted the Glopper display in the library on those gray boards as you walk in. I'm suspecting they will, but I haven't been able to ask. Well, if they don't, why don't we put up our own Glopper display? And oh, then, so you, oh, wait a minute. I, so you want me to get you pictures too? Well, that's what I thought it was. Like if you needed a display. Oh, if, okay. If promoting this thing in June. You have a whole, just we have a already of yeah. more historical. Okay, yeah. I didn't get that part. I just thought okay. that we wanted. All right, because I think most of Bob's are like Out whatever there. they are. You know, he hasn't taken, this group has already had stuff mm -hmm. put on that, whatever that board is. Yeah, so foam, thick foam board. board. Uh -huh. right, right. And as far as I know, that's not happening anywhere else. Okay. Well, okay, then why well, don't we fun. put up our own developer? But then if somebody would make a sign advertising what's going on. All right. So that's what I'll ask them. Is, is there some, is, you know, maybe we can get an aerial view of the park or one or of those whatever cool the pictures promotion that he has. Is. Right. At the moment, I've just seen one and it's black and white. And Do they have a picture of, um, from France? Do they have any of the pictures from over there? Do you know? Somebody, I'm sure somebody does. I mean, in my, I just, I'm sure Henry and to be and in a Ray would, but today I, you know, Sister what cities, we which we'll talk about. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, there, there's photos of France around. What particular thing were you for this? I don't know. I mean, you know, there's, I mean, they're just various pictures that you can get historical pictures oh, right. showing the invasion and or whatever. You oh, know, I so see. Maybe, well, the ones that I had were like the people from Grand Island going to visit. Kelly oh, Carey had people yeah. from, there's mm -hmm. another, there's a priest from. Um, that taught at St. Francis that was also part of something to do with World War II and he's commemorated so that that kind of stuff is around. Yeah. And then the people from Amfreeville were like our sister city for a little bit or perhaps uh -huh. still are, I don't know, because that was a town. I was just thinking we didn't have enough pictures to make it I think clear. We do. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so, we do. Uh, they're here now, right? Mm -hmm. So what would be the dates so on that? I'm trying to get a, you know, the idea okay. of putting together a Wrong calendar the for the, Sharon and I talked about the fact that, oh, you know, we, we really should be keeping track of when we do these. We on. haven't yeah, had well, a good I mean, record. The, the ceremony the to after, dedicate though. the statue is June 5th. So we ought to do this in May. So yeah, probably early May. Get it yeah, up and let, the it, upper and let stay it stay up all through stay Memorial up. Day and the celebration. And then, yeah, even to yeah, the And then end when that comes down, then the garden tour has asked if they could use it. Okay. And when's the garden tour? Uh, not until July. July something, 11th. Okay, well, that's pretty good, though. Then if that's going to be, you want a month, then the Glapper should come down to yeah. like the week after the dedication, and then it should be. It should all back the up. Garden, yeah. yeah, July 11th. Well, this raises a question, and I was going to. Uh, the boards are belong to this the advisory board. The town owns the boards, no, correct? No, 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 June. This is how the boards came here. Bill Cook is now dead. Bill Cook was part of the Erie County, some historic preservation group that no longer exists, but he was very active in it. They did all kinds of stuff. I don't know what years we can probably look that up. That group, our county tax money paid for those boards. Bill knew about those boards. Bill knew that when they disbanded the county group that those boards were still around. So Bill called me one day and he said, Mary, those boards are gonna get lost. I'm gonna go get them. Can you put them somewhere? Well, they were in our house for a while. Then we found a place up here, we put them up here. For the first few years we had those boards, the county needed those boards. They came and got them and <laughs> took them to the Erie County Fair. <laughs> And they were in the Grange building because I went to there and I saw yeah. them. I'm like, oh, I recognize those boards. Bill meticulously made sure that those boards came back. And then we, by that time, we had a place for them upstairs and blah, blah. Mm -hmm. so, so how many years has the county forgotten about? Oh, our boards. 20. They're, yeah. Oh, but, oh, but as oh, far okay. as like 
owning them, yeah. being able to produce well, I'm, it. Well, I'm just thinking my, who, like who is notes. authorized to make the decision? This board. Uh, okay, about because, who's using them, what yeah. months, and that And I think that's thing. a good place to keep it because that's the line, how it happened. But I mean, okay. as far as anything like super official, or if you ever mentioned this to the county, they'd probably say, we oh, need it back. Yeah. No, no, mm -hmm. we won't say anything. Why? Okay. Shh. But we should. We won't sit, tell anybody, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> We all forget. <laughs> anyway, Mary, so you're what, worried that it's going to get out. We agreed that um, you're more likely to watch paint dry than this. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. The historic preservation <laughs> advisory board should, should I, um, be in charge. Okay. And right now, the boards are graciously at the library because they're safe and they're dry and they're used. Yes. Well, they so have to, you know, at one point they've got taken down to Riverly. Oh my lord, mm -hmm. we used them for they've that. Been the yeah. churches. Yes, yeah, the, in wonders. the church um, lobbies. Mm -hmm. the bank. We Didn't we? Schools? Did we ever take them to? Yeah. I don't know that we ever took them to school, but. No. They've been around and about yeah. to display these. And we items. don't know where the cases are. That's right. We were talking about that. No one seems to know where the storage cases are for them. Yeah. The last time I moved them, I think they did not have storage cases. But now we're talking probably, you know, there's, it's been a while. But if they're, if the library agrees to keep them there. So we're just, they don't know any different. No. We and they're very, they're so. very happy to have this place because people look at them. Sure. I mean, when I'm in there, I often find people looking at them. So and as mm -hmm. we're putting them up, people will stop and comment. Exactly. And they're yeah. very happy to have them. Okay. Well, then, Sharon, what I'd like to ask is, would you be in charge of taking care of that then? Because what we would need is someone who would take care of each calendar year. Because if groups want to use them, somebody needs to be in charge of saying, we only have these months available sure. or whatever, you know, and I just think we need to keep a better record of it. So and we, we don't even remember when we put them up or take them well, down. Well, ourselves. So, right. yeah. 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 so yeah. that would take Absolutely. care of that. So if you would do that, Sharon, that would yeah. help. Okay. All right. And I'm going to change the date on that. So, okay. And then maybe you could bring back a schedule of what you would recommend for the remainder of the year. So we would have 2021 kind of plot it out and be done with that. Okay. okay. Great. Thank you. Anything else that you want to bring to our attention about that? Do I want to say something? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Four o'clock. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's three o'clock. Uh, I know. Well, that's it. Under <laughs> new business, we've already taken care of this big one, this Western New York heritage thing. Um, the next thing is this applicants. I just wanted to point out that the ad will be in the paper, uh, in the dispatch on the 23rd, which is... Island-wide. Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow. No, what's next, next week? Next, next week. week. Next yes, week, Friday. Yeah, it wasn't going to be tomorrow. Next week, Friday. And that will include all of the information that they would like you to submit. So, Janice, we're hoping you would do that. I did talk to um, Nicole again, and she's willing to do it. She said she might miss a meeting here or there because of her work, but she would yeah, like to do it. And she will is willing to serve on subcommittees if we have that, because she's very good at digging out the history yes. of Grand Island. So I explained to her as I am to you then too that you have to apply before the 10th of, before, of May. Yeah, before May 10th, Monday, yep. May 10th. And then it requires the board take a look at it and the supervisor and then you would get an official letter of No, actually interviews. And, so there yeah, will be there'd be an interview and then whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> so okay. okay. Just so you know. I'm gone till the 28th, but I'll Okay, we'll. You can uh, you once say? this comes out. I'm going to be gone. Oh, oh. as long yeah, as you, you as long as you have your app your application in before the tenth of May. Okay. Yep, and then they're good to go. We assume they would do them then. Okay, and then um, the last thing <laughs> on the agenda, Sharon and I met with Joe, who. Um, went to Kelly's country store one day because he was driving by and, and frankly got upset about looking at the schoolhouse in the cupola. And so turned around and went back and talked to Kevin. Was Kevin. It? Yeah. Anyway, um, so he asked us to, <laughs> we went and had lunch with Joe one day because what he got Kevin to say was that if the town would be willing to do this, they would deed those buildings, not the land, but the buildings, the schoolhouse and the cupola to the town of Grand Island, 
so that the town would own them. They would remain on their property, but the town would be then the owner of the buildings. And if the business is sold, the buildings could be moved off the property and we would hope brought here to the town center. Now this would raise some legal issues, I realized, because it would make the town probably responsible for some of the upkeep because they would own the building. I was saying to me, this sounds like owning a house in DC or something. You know, like mm -hmm. from the Seneca Indians where they own all the property mm -hmm. down like there. Sell and release and and sell and make it. Yeah. And so yeah. you own a house, but they own the property. Well, then we'd be the other way around. We would own the town, would own the schoolhouse and the cupola, but they would continue to own the land. Mm -hmm. So Mike, this is something that we thought we'd bring up. And if, if people are interested in this, then we could at least ask well, Peter Godfrey. So I could bring that up. To Monday see night, sure, what would this take and yeah. what would this mean? And what would that be, you know, what kind of responsibility would they put on the town? I mean, we're not suggesting that this absolutely be done, but it was raised as a possibility. Well, it's the only way to you save it, I think, to preserve, think. It, to preserve yeah. both because the they're those not, buildings. they're really not doing anything, and I'm concerned that this, is, and Joe is very concerned. I know that yeah. the, the things are just rotting down there, and we're going to lose them for sure. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible or probable that the town would do it, but it just seems it's something we ought to investigate as long as they are at least at this moment willing. So what to I'll do is I'll discuss it with legal on Monday night and I'll shoot everybody an email and let oh, you let great. you know what's, okay. what the guy that might put an end to the whole discussion. Yeah. Yeah, because right. if you know sure. if it's a maybe liability risks if they're yeah. not well up kept. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, who knows? Right. I mean that's why I'm not but at that point if it's legally the towns, then we could try to raise funds to Looks improve smart. them mm -hmm. so they won't fall apart. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But Joe says the cupola is just really falling apart. Yeah, I, I, he says I don't know. The dome parts about all it's kind of yeah. holding together. I don't even know if it can be fixed. But yeah. anyway, it can be, but it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I mean, right. to get it really done and restored correctly is going to be a lot of like money. 16, well, yeah. Joe was kind of hoping we maybe it could be a BOCES project. Mm, that's and not he that was idea. involved with that. Well, he wasn't, but. Uh, Fosco's did the Cooper or the right. years and years Cazibos. ago, and Cazibos. that was like Joe's best friend, so right. he was that involved. Okay. So he's hoping maybe. Yeah, that sounds might be a good good option right there. Yeah. Okay. Because we wanted them to do the gazebo, but that kind of fell through. So. So they might take on that project. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. And then the last thing on here, are these pictures. Oh, um, she said that twice now. <laughs> But, well, on. it's it's a subcategory of the last thing. Okay, okay. This is the last, <laughs> the last the thing last, on my agenda. Last, last. Um, we know that there were all these pictures of barns that Bill took, and they have disappeared apparently because Lois can't find them. We don't know where they ended up. So Sharon and I were talking about getting new pictures, and she <laughs> said to me, "Gee, I wish Wendy were still here because she could take the pictures because she did all the photography." Well, her sister Donna also does photography and has beautiful cameras. So I went to her and asked her, and she said, if Sharon will show her where they are and drive her around, she will come over to the island. She used oh, to wow. live here. She lived in Town Hall Terrace for years. So she mm -hmm. will she will be the photographer and take all the pictures of the remaining barns and nice. make them available to us so that we could have a display of barns when we want to do that. So I just wanted to. And let then you I was know. telling June that uh, for. Riverly, we had uh, something mounted on styrofoam. Carolyn took it to Michael's, and for six dollars they mounted. That could be a direction because yeah. we don't have Eddie's art shop right now. So oh, Michael does do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carolyn says she could do it herself. But and that could come out of our <laughs> no, budget without any yeah. problems good. at That's Michael's. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. June, I've got the couple things that I didn't sure. have for the last. Any other week. new business? Oh, no, nope, that's it. Business. You're on, Mary. Whatever. All right. Well, Sharon, you go first. Oh, I had a phone call yesterday from a Nancy Clifford. I'm not sure. I think she lives near Syracuse, and one of her relatives was in the Eagle Park disaster, and she says the name was spelled wrong. Uh oh. And is there a list of the people that died? Any place? Oh, wow. That would be like there was a newspaper there. I have copies of the newspaper articles because they didn't get 
all of the names I remember the first day. So there was some confusion about how many. Remember when we were doing that, we weren't sure if it was and we didn't even thirty seven right. or thirty nine right. or something. She said thirty nine, but I think she got a hold of the Heritage magazine and then got a hold of Bill Cook's phone number and Lois directed her to me. That's how I think I got okay. her. So anyway, the wrong spelling was K R E T C H. And the right spelling is G R E T C H. And I said, oh. um, I said, with my own family, we were lying and long. Half the family stayed lying and half of us are wrong right. because of the accent. They couldn't understand what people were saying. Right. And she said her family came from Germany too. So that very well could be the problem that they weren't pronouncing. Okay. Well, I'll check it. I'm, I'm, I know I have those newsletter uh, and newspaper. She just articles. wants to know if they could somehow go down in history as the right spelling. I said, I don't know if we have a copy of anything. But the other thing is, is at the time, it was probably the right spelling. They just changed it after that time. Well, you, you don't know. know. You, yeah, don't like, don't. you don't know. Yeah. So I don't know what she really, how I can satisfy her, I don't know. Well, I told her I would check with but you. I'll look it up and see. Okay, I can you know check with you three today. I could run it through ancestry.com if you want me to. I'd Pardon me? It. Where is she seeing it misspelled? I don't know. Probably in Heritage Magazine if they listed it. I've from the newspaper original. films, yeah. but I'll see what the original. So the original one was K R E T C H T C H, and it should be G R E T C H. Yeah. And I'm not remembering anything the historical society ever did with specific names. Like we might have mounted. Yes. I think we mounted some pictures of the of yes. the Heritage Magazine article. I'm yes. kind of remembering I that, think, but you know, if it's know. if it's in a newspaper, it'd really be tough to justify changing the name. Based on well, I don't know how work. we do that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about right. that heritage? All the what is it called? The oh, Fulton, Fulton history. Fulton yeah, history. Like it's probably that. if they even have stuff from that. Yeah. I remember well, when, when June did the goes plaque back to the 1800s. Right, but back in it was difficult to ascertain how many people right. were really because there were different dead. reports in the and, newspapers. And it was all printed. Mm -hmm. 36 died, yeah. 39 died, 37. Mm -hmm. A baby went over the falls. I mean, there were all these stories that right. you, you didn't know right. what and to it believe. Really hard. Yeah. So. Well, and she's hearing stories through the family, which might not be right. <laughs> That's also true. I think it's her grandmother she's talking about. It was Who a was woman that died. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think the grandfather died of Parkinson's disease after that. Probably a long time after that. <laughs> yeah. Well, 1912. And well, who knows? And I she's mean... 70 years old. And she graduated from, from college in 73. I mean, she told me a lot of her life story. <laughs> huh. But the real issue is she was -E versus yeah. -E is, is this my grandmother? Is right. what yeah, she really wants to probably. know. Probably. Does okay. she know it's a grandmother? She knows it's a grandmother and she just wants the spelling changed or she's not she sure just it's wants a it documented the right way, but oh. we're not going to change any documentation. Oh, I said I would bring it up at this meeting okay. and I have her email address and I have her phone number. I can tell her that we can't do anything for her. Unless, right, or eventually unless something comes take, up. Take a statement from her and put it in the evil yeah. box stuff and it's there for posterity. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that could be too. We could just change. You know what I'll do? Uh, next time I'm on Ancestry.com, I'll run this name through and see if I can find anything connected to Buffalo or to yeah. the Buffalo paper. That's about all we can do, as far yeah. as I can tell. And she looked up her grandparents' address, and it was a Buffalo or Riverside or that. Oh, I, I said it was a yeah. church group or something. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. It was a something foresters group. Yes, I can't uh, remember the whole name of it. I've got it. I'll, yeah, I'll look yeah, it up. I know I've got it. Thing, yeah. Because she, yeah. she Googled or something and the address is still there. Okay. <laughs> Anything else anybody has? You have some. I do. I have a couple things from the last meeting and one of them involves the microfiche reader. Oh. I was asked to find out about it. It is at the library. It's in the center of the library. So now you have two reasons to go. You can go look at the lithograph, <laughs> which is now on display there. And then there's this microfiche reader in the center of the library. And it reads only. There is no printing capability. So were you to go and use it, whatever you look at, you have to take notes or a snapshot with your phone or whatever. Um, do they want it there? I mean, is it's it okay. Well, I mean, it, does anybody I, use it? 
I don't think so. But in any case, she also told me that the dates that are on that bookmark about the, the scanned dispatches mm -hmm. are not correct, but I didn't take time to go look at that. Mm -hmm. But here's the reels. There's three reels that are labeled Grand Island Historical Society. And one of them includes the census, the county census of 1855, the federal census, 1870, 1880, the state census of 1892, 1905, and 1925. Documents about the cemeteries. I didn't look at this stuff. I just read the labels. The Centennial, the book Cinderella Island, and the book Tony of Grand Island. Hmm. That's one reel that's labeled historical site. Another reel date labeled historical society is Trinity Church meetings, 1867 to 1889, um, records, 1892 to 1916, membership and weddings, 1960 to 1976, a St. Stephen's Church ledger from 1905, the Grand Island account book, no date given, Grand Island baptismal record, nothing more said, St. Stephen's church records and assorted maps. That's on the second reel. Hmm. And then on the third reel is Between the Bridges, volumes one through six. And I don't know what between the, that's something Teddy did, I think. Yeah, there's I her only little article. I know it on Isle oh, of Grand. I remember so, reading those. Yeah. Right, so I don't know what volumes one through six, there are no dates. The Islander dash complete, I believe that refers to the paper that Shirley Luther sure. and group did for the war. Sidway School reunion records, a minute book of the Historical Society, again, no reference to date, and Trinity Church records. So these are the three reels. Then there are also reels. Um, there's 30 reels that are the, well, it's not the dispatch, it's the newspaper. Because in 18, there's a one page newspaper, September 1st, 1894, and it wasn't called the Dispatch. And then beginning on August 30th, 1948, it starts with those and ends on December 20th, 1990. So there's 30 reels of that. But don't get the idea that it goes 1894 to 1990. 1894 is a one off, one sheet. That it picks up in 1948. So there's a whole period of nothing. And then there's 26 reels labeled um, numbers 30 to 37, but there's multiple copies. So again, it goes, um, you know, there's two copies or three copies of the same thing. So in the one drawer, those one through 29, those are all individual things. So what those include, I'm trying to remember the dates when. Howard was his name. Howard. Howard. Some of it Allie Howard when yeah. he owned the paper. We'd have to paper. find the dates. Like we'd he have was to in find the forties. I know it was after Sheenwater burned and the family had, right? You know whatever. After what burned? Sheenwater, Sheenwater. Hotel, Sheenwater. where I live. That's why I know these things. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's something that we would give to some techno company and say, "Hey, put this on a something something else that you don't." Well, you Bridget's could... point was that we should first find out what's available. And she gave me that the name has changed. Um, it used, there were these bookmarks floating around um, mm -hmm. Riverly for a while. And I don't have one with me right now, I don't think. But that site has changed. And it's now called New York State Historic Newspapers.org. So before we do anything with this. Is it should... the same thing as the Fulton website? No different. I don't know that Fulton has dispatches, but I don't know that. I think it does. Okay. Um, but anyway, the she says that the Island Dispatch from 1944 until 2014 is all available on that website already scanned. So if that's the case, what would be the It's point? all there and available. All, so we the would just want to worry the about dispatches. Yeah. So we'd want to worry about the other stuff. Yeah. Because they also have the um, Grand Island record, only three months of it. From, I don't, didn't, 
Well, it lasted more no, than less three than about a year. And yeah. Yeah, Riverly has a pretty good collection of that. There's missing a few, but maybe it was like a year and a half or two. I don't know how long, but that's up there in the library. Um, and Bridget also said that from 2014, when this newspaper site stops doing the dispatch, she has hard copies and they're housed at the library of just the dispatch from 2014 until current. They just keep stacking them up on a shelf. So that's information. I mean, that's what's there. They're just using it. I mean, one drawer was just wires from the computer hookup. No one uses it really, but there's also no printing capability. So, you know, you might want to, if you had some specific thing that you knew might be in there. Well, that's the same thing. I can remember going with Bill Cook downtown to the, the public library. Well, no, not to the library, to the historical society. Well, and we looked in their library it was, yeah, it was there. and they yeah. had the microfiche, but you couldn't, hmm. you have to take notes. Right, or you could see something, right. But you couldn't, yeah. So she just, she said, yeah, they're there. And she, she's not, they're is not there getting rid way, of them. Is there a to way to it. transfer it? I mean, the way you can do with slides, I think I've seen ads. Oh, I'm sure we could, but then the point. Well, I mean, we, somebody would have to go through it all up see, and see what we would want and then you're right and actually see what these things are so that's probably a task to actually put the reels in there and go look and see is you know yeah. is this anything we care about and what does grand island account book even mean no yeah. idea that's how it's referenced or grand island back well one record. thing you could you, you know could those... not put in is the his, the papers because it's already 1942 to present at this New York State Historic Newspaper site, correct? In 1944. So well, that's what that's what she thinks. But I mean, so, clearly, someone needs to go and look at that and see what you know. Is it really there? How good is it? Is it clear? You know that type of thing. Sometimes those church records are good for tracing family oh trees. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So I just wonder: is that a duplicate of what the churches already, already have? have? Who knows? Yeah, and and you know i i don't know how this got done i think it got done with grants so they might have just grabbed you know whoever was in charge okay uh -huh. what's important for us to do no idea when these were actually done well the first microfish was a sidway group yeah and i it doesn't really i don't have any clue from what's because in the drawer about who paid for it who did it who uh -huh. these, i'm just reading well, sidway you know these are boxes Remember? that hold Shorty Banoff. And they brought the that. microfish to Riverly and they brought one to the library. Well, yeah. I would, and I they mean, had it all set up and I don't know what all was on there. But then this grant, I think, paid for the balance of it. Yeah, and at one point, where is it? In one of those, it did talk about, yeah, in real number three, Sidway School Reunion Records are part of, and this minute book from the historical site. So at some yeah. point, you know, if, you're looking for something to do. That'd be cool to, you know, make, you know take a sheet of paper and just, you know, yeah. all I did was sit down and it took me a little bit of time to figure out what I was looking at and how it was organized. And, you know, is it important? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out to see if there's anything on there that's not somewhere else, mm -hmm. I guess, would really be the Yeah, it was after that one big reunion, Sidway reunion, but they Which, had extra money. Right. So it might be good for everyone to take down NYS historic newspapers, all one word, dot org. And at least someday throw that into your browser and just see what you can find there. Okay. And they, on this thing she gave me, talks about 1944. Yeah, 1944 to current. But she told me current ends at 2014. So, you know, just yeah. even seeing what's there, oh. see what kind of um, quality it is, stuff it is, you know, is it useful? Hopefully it is. But sometimes, like when you go on Fulton History, I was aggravated this week looking for stuff for that farming stuff we're doing at Riverly. No, when they scanned it, they cut off the top. And so there's no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the reference point talks about a three-year period. Darn, because it was about the creamery. The creamery disbanded. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. Go up to the top. Oh. The date was cut off. I know. And but I mean, just think of yourself when you're using a copier. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't center it exactly yeah. right. right. I'm like of all things. So I still haven't. You know. And then I found the record when they when they took down the buildings. Of course, that was 
they said they hadn't been used in 20 years. Well, okay, but you know, it's really cool if you can put a date on a newspaper right. with mm -hmm. what you're reading. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm gonna try to get to this at some point and just see what the stuff really looks like. But anyway, we have that sitting there and it's Bridget's more than happy to. She said, oh, it's been a little while since I've used this, a couple of years, but there's a book there and, and I didn't get into that. So anyway, I'll keep this stuff if we need to know what's there. Yeah, okay, good, yeah. thanks, Mary. You're That's welcome. Good. The other thing, I, I had a memory of Sister City when, jo when Jody found that stuff from, I forget which city. Taiwan. Taiwan. Well, oh, yeah. in, I found this article, throw this with your stuff, because I don't need it. In 1997, the town issued a proclamation. There's a lady named Rosemary Ryan who still lives on the West River. Students visited from Montava, Italy. And somewhere there is a wooden inlaid picture, I guess you'd call it, of their seaport or their city skyline or something. And there's a picture of all these kids at the lighthouse at the launch club. I huh. don't really know. Maybe it's in the library at Riverley. I remember it being in the supervisor's office when I was there. Because I remembered it would I remembered how it looked. And I'm like, as I'm thinking about this, I'm like, well, yeah, that was in this one file cabinet. I don't know. Anymore. I don't know where it is, but maybe I don't know where that is, but that refers to it. So we've been like sister city to various places. And then I did have a sister city file that that article was in, and that it all referred to France and pre built France. That was during the time when Joe Stefanik got the French Legion Award uh, medal. You know, he was had that was years after he had earned it, so they sent the French Legion. It was a huge whoop de whoop during one of the, mm. um, a ceremony, I think maybe like a Memorial Day or something in the 90s, maybe early 2000s. So that's all in there. And then the Amfreville stuff was part of that because that's where Charles de Blocker spent time, I believe. Okay. So we've got a few different yeah. cities, if you will. But somewhere, we'll, we'll find this along the way here. This uh, inlaid, they refer to it in there, inlaid pictures and coins or something. And then there were all these kids and they all stood around the, um, the lighthouse at the launch club and they snapped a picture. And that was in this folder of, you know, like one of those document folders. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep looking for that. Good. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Anybody else have anything they want to bring up now that we're running over? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All there. Aye. 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 All right, we are adjourned. Thank you. Remember, next month is a week.